this is the beginning of part two of the video on how to move your .NET 2 website to GoDaddy by using the DNN backup module. Now let's go back to the home of our host control. In GoDaddy, we have done the database setup. Now we have to set up that DNN folder that we have created via FTP. We have to set it up as an application folder under IIS here in GoDaddy. So let's go to uh, content. And under content menu, we see IIS management. So let's click there. Because again, initially our site will be restored inside the DNN folder. Okay, so from here, from under IIS manage, management, we're gonna click create. And what is the directory name? Is DNN, which is the one that we have created. Now, important, this is important. Keep anonymous access checked. You don't need to check directory browsing. And we have to check set application root as well. Let's click those two. So we keep those two checked. Again, this is the folder that we have created via the FTP. And let's, cl let's click OK. Now, this is the one that takes that can take a bit of time from GoDaddy to set it up. You can wait a couple of hours and you can keep checking here to see when it's done. Very important as well. You have to make sure that you have ASP.NET runtime version 2, 3 and 3.5 as, as the one set up. If you have four here, you have to modify this. I had to do that before. I didn't uh, start that from the beginning. So uh, this used to be ASP.NET Runtime version four when I first came here. So I had to click modify. Let me see if I can click here. I'm not gonna really modify, but I'm just gonna show the interface. You see, you have uh, .NET Runtime version, you can, in my case, I used to have ASP4 checked. I had to come here and check ASP2, 3 or 3.5 to make sure that the site would be able to work. Not gonna hit continue here because I don't want to change because it's already correct. But if you have this one, you have to check the middle one, the one with 2, 3 and 3.5. Let me cancel this and go back. Okay, so I'm back to my uh, to the to the initial uh, host the, the hosting dashboard. If I want to check how the uh, DNN folder application is getting set up, if it's done or not, I can just go back here to content and go to IS management, and I can see the status there. Let's have a look. So it's still pending. So while it's, it's still pending, there's not much that you can do. Just wait until this is done, until this is completely set up. Meantime, let's have a look at our upload. Upload is going okay. We just have about eight minutes to go. I'm gonna pause and come back as soon as we have the upload done. Okay, so the upload is about to get finished. And once this is done, we will go back here to our control panel under go dad dad go daddy and let's click home because there is one more thing that we have to do with that dnn folder we have to give to grant full access to that folder so let's go to um, ftp file manager then from here let's just wait it to finish loading now from here, I can check the DNN folder and I can change its permissions. So let's click permissions and I'm going to uncheck inherit. I'm going to check write, read and write. I'm gonna keep read checked. I'm gonna check write and I'm gonna check also under reset all children to inherit. So all subfolders within DNN folder will get read and write access as well. So I'm just gonna hit okay, wait for this permissions to be done. It may take a while, so just hold on. Okay, so permissions were updated. Now the 
uh, we have a uh, read and write access inside the DNN folder, which we need it. Now, the last thing that we have, we still have to wait is for IS to be set up, which has, let's have a look here. So it's still, still pin set up. Again, nothing that we can do. We, we should only wait here, keep checking every now and then and wait. I mean, you can even wait up to 24 hours to get this completely set up. For now, nothing else to be done. Let's just wait. Okay, so now I have refreshed the site, the control panel under IIS management, and the folder is already set up. So we will try to run the, the restore wizard to try to restore our website. So I'm going to open another tab here in Firefox. I'm gonna call DNN tutorial dot com forward slash dnn which is the folder that we have inst we have added the restore package slash and then we call the folder the backup folder so let's hit enter here and we got an error okay so let's try to recycle let's try to recycle the application pool of our website and see if that uh could solve this problem let's go back here try is let's click on recycle app pool menu recycle application pool now okay again that may help us with that error let's wait a little bit okay so i have tried to recycle the application pool but that error kept coming back so i had to stop recording the video and i had to do some tests on my own and finally after a lot of attempts a lot of uh, failures. I finally tried to flip the sp.net runtime version back to four. When I did that, I finally was able to have the backup uh, restore module working again. So now let's let's just keep going here. Again, what I have changed is I have modified it to make sure that the the backup restore application would, would run in GoDaddy. I had to change the runtime version of, of, of .NET. And I'll just show quickly here. If I click modify, I can, f before it was selected, uh, this one here, two, three or 3.5. Then I selected four and it finally started to work fine. So let's just go back here. I'm not going to change that. I'm just going to go to the tab again. And I'm going to access, try to access again that URL. As you can see, we have the website slash DNN, which is our folder slash backup, which is where the backup uh, restore package will run from. So let's just hit enter here and see how this will go. Okay, so this is what we want to happen. So we have the welcome message here from the module a restore wizard. So let's just click next and let's try to restore our website to the new domain. So from here, we can test permissions to make sure that the application has a read and a write access. So let's just click test permissions. Okay, perfect. We got your site passed, which is great. Let's click next again. Okay, so now I, I have to upload my license. So I'm gonna click browse. I'm gonna go to my folder. And here is my license, which I'm gonna open. You're gonna get that license when you buy the backup module. So I'm just gonna click next now. This is the end of part two of the video on how to move your .NET Look website to GoDaddy by using the DNN backup module.